Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Sweden, Bougainville title. The elusive Bougainville once upon a time, in the beautiful Scandinavian country of Sweden, lived a young botanist named Erik Johansson. His life was dedicated to studying the variety of plant species that inhabited his homeland and those beyond it. However, his curiosity extended far beyond the local flora. He had an insatuation with one particular plant species native to South America, Bougainvillea. Bougainvillea, known for its vibrant flowers and resilience, wasn't found naturally in Sweden due to its cold climate. Yet, Eric was determined to cultivate this tropical beauty in his home country. He believed that if he could successfully grow Bougainvillea in Sweden's harsh climate conditions, it would be a significant breakthrough for botanical science. Eric began his research by sourcing bougainvillea seeds from Brazil. He planted them in specially designed greenhouses where temperature and humidity could be controlled effectively. Despite many trials and errors along with numerous failed attempts over several years, Eric remained undeterred. News about Eric's persistent pursuit reached Helena Lindbergh, an influential businesswoman who had recently invested heavily into sustainable architecture solutions incorporating green spaces within urban environments across Sweden. Intrigued by the potential of introducing such a vibrant plant into Swedish buildings as part of her sustainability initiative while adding aesthetic value at the same time, Helena decided to support Eric's research financially, hence intensifying the search for Bougainville. With newfound resources at hand thanks to Helena's funding, including advanced botanical equipment and a team of skilled horticulturists. Progress on the search for Bougainville accelerated significantly. Over time, however, it became apparent that just providing financial aid wouldn't suffice, as even with state-of-the-art equipment at their disposal, cultivating Bougainvillea still seemed like an uphill task due to Sweden's cold climate, which hindered growth significantly during winters, especially when daylight hours were minimal. Helena then decided to approach this challenge from a different angle. She proposed the idea of incorporating these plants into her sustainable architecture designs via indoor vertical gardens and rooftop greenhouses, which could provide adequate heat and sunlight year-round. The concept was an instant hit. Not only did it solve the problem of growing bougainvillea in Sweden's harsh climate, but also added a splash of vibrant color to Swedish buildings during the otherwise gloomy winter months. The buildings adorned with bougainvillea became a symbol of sustainability and resilience against all odds, mirroring Eric's own journey in his search for bougainville. 